Hey, this is Joe Venere with Hybrid Athlete, and today we are going to take a look at strength for endurance athletes. A lot of the time, I know myself included, running, triathlon, we get caught up in, hey, let's go out and log a thousand miles, and let's get out on the bike, let's go swim, uh, and strength really gets left behind, especially during the race season. What we're going to do today is look at a circuit of exercises that you can do during the race season to keep that strength up. Our first exercise is going to be the squat, curl, and press. Each exercise is going to be focusing on the muscles that we use when we're running and things, uh, keeping the core strong, legs, glutes, quads, making sure we're maintaining that strength, and putting a lot of different exercises together into one movement. So first, like I said, that squat, curl, press. Sinking down to pick up our weights. Up to the top, I have that squat movement. As I come up, I curl to the top and then press overhead all through that movement, making it one. So as I put it together, it'll look like this. Squat, curl to the top, press overhead. My core, everything's nice and tight as I press those weights overhead. And then I'm going to sink down and put those weights down. This exercise, like the rest for the circuit, we're going to do four rounds, 12 reps each. Our next exercise is going to be the single leg deadlift, again using the dumbbells. Here, focusing on tight core, staying up nice and tall with that posture, positive arch in the back, and then driving through the hamstrings and glutes. So I'll show it to you one time without the weights and then I'll add the weights. And I'm going to show that to you now. First without the weights, starting with my left foot, I'm going to sink down, driving my butt back, all the pressure in my hamstring, drive forward, hips and core. Now you can do 12 on this leg and then switch or you can alternate. Taking a look at that right leg, sinking down, and driving up to the top, squeezing everything tight. When you're ready, you can go ahead and add the weights. So just for a demo, I have those weights, I'm laying them in front of my body, the back leg, the heel floats high, balance, core strength, squeeze to the top, and back down. Following through. Again, 12 on each leg. Our third exercise is going to focus on the lower body again. And because so many of the endurance sports are straight line activities, you're running in a straight line, we endurance athletes, we lack lateral mobility. So we're going to use a lateral lunge here to go ahead and engage those muscles from that side to side lateral pathway. So looking at that lateral lunge, we're going to stick with 12 on each leg like we've been doing. And you can also start with no weight. So to begin, we're going to look at it without the weight. Stepping from the standing position, slight bend in my knees, I'm going to step out to the left. Chest up, sinking my butt back and down. I'm not lunging towards the wall, I'm sinking out and back. So out and then back, back to center. When you're ready to go ahead and add weight to that movement, I'm just going to get my dumbbells, and I prefer to do it with the weight racked up nice and high. Holding it here, stepping out to the side, up and back out. Now, if it's more comfortable, you can certainly hold them at your sides, or you can go with one weight here, lunging out and back. However you're going to do it, starting with no weight or mixing up the grips, make sure you're doing 12 on each leg. Next, we're going to take a look at some upper body strengthening. But we also want to remember we're not trying to build bulk that will slow us down. We want to stay functional, so we're also going to do this from the plank position. So we're working on the plank row. Starting out, I'm on top of my dumbbells. And you can go ahead and use both in balance, or you can do one hand planted, whatever's more comfortable for you. I'm going to go on both. Starting at the top of that plank position, I'm going to row elbow high and then switch sides. Working that row, keeping my core nice and tight. Now, if you're doing it on one side, you're gonna go ahead and do all 12 before switching. If you're on both dumbbells, you can add that push-up in. So I'm doing a push-up and then rowing to the top. And that's gonna be still, I'm counting one, one, all the way to 12 each side. It's very important that when we're doing this, you're maintaining your stability. Don't go to two dumbbells until you're ready, but make sure your core is engaged throughout that entire movement. My legs are flexed, my glutes, and I'm really trying to keep my whole body engaged while I'm doing the motion with my arms. 
our final exercise for this circuit, still working that 12 reps on each side, we're going to do what we call a bird dog or a reach and pull. So from all fours, I'm going to extend opposite arm and leg as far as I can, maintain tight core, and then crunch it all the way in. What I want to do is build some symmetry and equal strength on both sides of my body. So this is core balanced, also hips and glutes. So from that all fours position, everything tightened, engaged, and I'm going to reach, extend, pull all the way in. I'm crunching knee towards my, my head, trying to give a, a knee myself in the nose, and I'm crunching that arm towards my hip. Again, out and in, really stay engaged. So we're working 12 on the right side, right arm, 12 on the left arm, right leg. And once you finish that, 12 each side, we've gone through all the exercises. You're going to repeat that circuit three more times. Now, depending on the weight that you use, you can go up and down, or you can stick with body weight exercises and build throughout the movements.